Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today Microsoft released another Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel. After updating to this build, the OS build version changes to 22563.1. This build is available for ARM64 PCs. Let me tell you that, not every build Microsoft release will have as many new features as last week's build. However, this build includes a few new features for insiders to try out as we roll them out, including a tablet-optimized taskbar experience, some improvements to content and widgets, and a new group policy for it admins and education. With this build, there are two states for the taskbar, collapsed and expanded. In the collapsed state, the taskbar gets out your way, gives you more screen space, and prevents you from accidentally invoking the taskbar when you're holding your tablet. In the expanded state, the taskbar is optimized to be easier to use with touch. You can easily switch between the two states by swiping up and down on the bottom of your device. This feature is only available for Windows 11 tablet devices. From this build, Microsoft is trying out some changes in widgets to bring more dynamic content to your widgets board by experimenting with bringing together the widgets and news feed experiences as a dynamic blended feed containing both widgets and news content. For IT admins and education, Microsoft made a new policy build, keeping students in mind. Starting with this build, you will finally be able to turn off all Windows update notifications that might distract students during the school day. To get to this new group policy, just open the group policy editor and navigate to computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, Windows update, manage and user experience, display options for update notifications. And from here, you can enable or disable the option. So, that was all the new things in this build. Talking about the changes and improvements, there is not very big changes. But there are definitely some changes. For windowing, search from quick access has been expanded to include content from your OneDrive, downloads, and any index location. Also, files in quick access without any local presence, for example, files shared to you from another OneDrive, now show thumbnails and work with OneDrive sharing. For windowing, Microsoft made it even easier to snap the most relevant windows next to each other side by side. When a window is snapped, you will now see three of your most recent shown, by default, as suggestions. You can always control whether to show Microsoft Edge tabs and the number of tabs shown when snapping. For input, starting with this build, Windows insiders can now use 37 new emoji characters in the emoji picker as part of emoji 14.0. Some of the new emoji include melting face, troll, coral, beans, playground slide, and mirror Skin tone variations for hands gestures and people bring the total to 112 emoji, which includes the handshake. You can now choose the skin tones between the two hands in the handshake emoji. The updated accessibility flyout on the login screen, introduced in build 22557, is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. So that was all the changes and improvements made in this build. Talking about the fixes, as usual, there are general fixes made in this build. If you want to know more, head down to the official Microsoft blog, link is in the description. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below, thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.